Hi guys! So, I've been trying to film this video, but I realize it's way too long, so, yeah. So, I bought these liquid lipsticks before Christmas, and I have been absolutely in love with them. I've worn them long enough to kind of give, be able to give a really good review, because, I mean, it's not been six months, but I literally wear these every day, so I think that's a fair enough judgment. But these are the Boo Keens brand. I don't know how to say it because it's really a phrase that I don't know how to say. But these were $24.99 on Amazon. And it, you get $16 for that price. Now, I, love, I know a lot of you guys are going to say, whoa, hold up, Anna. That looks like a Kylie lip kit, lip gloss. And you're right. It is, but these are so beautiful on the lips, and I get so many compliments when I wear them, so I'm going to be doing a live swatching video on my lips, so let's jump into the video, and I'll tell you guys about them. So, the <coughs> <coughs> bear with me, I have a cold. So these do have a little bit of a smell, but it goes away after you're done applying it. And also, um, they say they're long wearing, but I kind of notice them going away like after I drink water and they go away after eating. So yeah, but they don't transfer, which is awesome. So if you want to kiss your boyfriend or girlfriend, it doesn't transfer. So the first one I picked up is this like orangey nude shade. It's really pretty. And this is number one. <coughs> Ooh. So. And this shade is pretty much your lips but better shade. I absolutely love it. So. Yeah, this is probably my favorite one in the entire collection. So that's what it looks like up close. And I don't mind the little guys that have joined the party on my face. But yeah. Oh, and if you guys are wondering what's on my nails, it is the Wet n Wild Gel Nail Polish or One Step Gel something in Lavender Out Loud. So let's get this bad boy off. Ugh, I got hair in my mouth. Okay. Ugh. And then I have a hard candy matte top coat on top. Up next is like a peachy brown. This one I didn't think I was going to like, but ironically, I actually do really enjoy it. You guys are going to have to bear with me because I'm doing this all, you know, by myself, no editing whatsoever. So this is a number 16. And... This is what it looks like up close. Don't mind the area around my face. I'm just taking this off. So that's what this one looks like. It's a little patchy, but it's okay. So there is that. swatch on your face okay this one is a like pinky red metallic and I wore this for Christmas and everybody was so in love with it Because I don't own any metallic liquid lipsticks. And this one is literally my favorite. This one is number 14. 
But yeah, this is more of like a reddish orange metallic. And you can't really see the metallic, so yeah. It doesn't look like much on my lips. So. Oh, I think I'm just making more of a mess. Let me get a new cotton ball, guys. But yeah, I, like, if I don't drink the entire day, which is, like, highly impossible, you, these would last. Like, if you're doing a photo shoot, I think these would be good. But not for just, like... We're doing it. Okay, this is like a kind of soft baby pink. Not a baby pink, but like a, ba a pink. And this is a number six. Ugh, I can feel the cotton. And this one kind of came all wonky, but I don't care. And this is definitely a shade I normally don't wear. But it's pretty, and I'll show you guys why it's super pretty. So, guys, can't really see. Well, you can now. Because I have a light from my... Yeah, you can kind of see it now. It's just your basic pink, but it's a wearable pink. I wish this came off with normal um, makeup wipes, but it doesn't, which is good. Up next is your orangey bronze. This is number 11. This is not the gold, but it's still super pretty. And that was number 11. As you can see, it's a soft, subtle brown metallic, but it's super pretty. So there's that shade. I'm probably gonna look like a hot mess after this, but who cares, I'm having fun my lips and if you hear rustling my cat is just moving around back there so this one is more of like a reddish bronzy gold like this one is more of a yellow <coughs> Ooh. and this one pulls more like reddish bronze like a red bronze gold it's not a rose gold but it it's like a more ruddy gold Like, I don't know how to describe that shade. And you'll see why. So, like, you see that one's more of a yellow, yellow gold. And this one's more of a reddish gold. And this is what it looks like on. It pulls more red than um, gold. So, yeah. So I'm going to get out a new cotton ball just because I think that'll be good. But yeah. So I'm off for a while, which sucks. But it actually doesn't right now. Because I feel like crap. Oh. So this is a, like, peach brown, like a tan. And this is the only one out of this kit that I don't wear. And I'll show you why. 
because this is more of like a concealer shade. See, it's more of like a peachy brown, like wash out your lips color. <sighs> like you guys can't see. There. That's what it looks like on my lips and I'm not a fan. But yeah. Oh, my face is itchy. All right, let's see who's up next. Ooh, the purple. I loved this purple. Because if you guys don't know, I love the dark purple lips. And I like that these shades are wearable on every skin tone. So this is what the dark purple looks like. This one's a little patchy, but not as patchy as the blue lipstick. And I'll show you when it comes up why it's so patchy. But... Every time I wear that purple, I get tons of compliments. Like, oh my god, what color are you wearing? And then I tell them, and they're like, oh. So this is the gold lipstick. Oh, I haven't been saying the numbers. 15. And this was 2. This is 13. I actually wore this on St. Patrick's Day. And yeah, this is just a gold lipstick. I thought this was gonna be a replacement for my uh, dupe or my lipstick Forever and Never. I think that's what it's called from Kat Von D. But that's what it looks like. It ain't pretty. It's just a straight up gold lipstick. I don't like it. So that's another shade that like I'm not a fan of. Oh, my lips are gonna be so dry tonight. Oh well. Okay, this is just a brown nude. And this one's really pretty. I like this lip kit because it is such a beautiful shade and this is in the number four so it's more of a grayish brown but it's really pretty so like it's definitely a shade that I wear out a little bit I really don't I mainly stick with like the red and the like pink and the nude but this shade actually has helped me kind of go outside my comfort zone and that's why I like getting kits like this because it really helps you like go outside your comfort zone <coughs> I got six more guys we're almost done if you stayed this long that's awesome this is a grayish purpley brown shade and this is in the number 10. This is, I'm going to be honest, it's a straight up gray. I've only worn this once. Ah. There's a hair somewhere, I can feel it. But yeah, just letting you know my lip swatching isn't gonna be very good, but who cares? Right? <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a towel and just clean up my face real quick. 
all my face is gonna be inflamed. All right, so this is a lighter brown than like, um, I don't see them. So this is a little bit darker. This pulls more like nude and this one pulls more gray, but it's a wearable color. This video is already so long. Hopefully it uploads. I'm sorry you guys I'm really sick but I wanted to film so this one is horribly patchy but you can see it is a dark brown but it's more like a grayish a grayish beige but I don't know Let's get the towel. I mean, you could probably take these off with a makeup wipe, but it'd have to be a really good makeup wipe. Because I tried a couple and they did not want to come off. Alright, we're going to do the blue shade. And this one you need at least a couple layers, which is insane. But I did wear this for when my boyfriend and I went to go see In the Shape of Water, which is a really good movie, and it turned out really well. That was number seven. This is 12. But yeah, you can see it's not very pigmented. You can see it's really patchy. But yeah, this I don't wear out every day. But I like wearing it out. At times I kind of just like wearing it around the house because I'm weird and I wear lipstick around my house. Alrighty guys, we've got three more left and these three are actually kind of my favorite color. So we got an orange. I never thought I'd be an orange girl. Like I was like, I remember when orange lipstick was like the fad and I was like, I'm never going to wear orange lipstick. Well, this is more of a reddish orange. I went to Sephora and JCPenney and the girl like tried on one of the orange lipsticks from one of the brands and it actually looked really good on me. So here is the swatch and it's more of a burnt orange. <coughs> so it's super pretty. It actually, like, isn't in as intense as I thought it was going to be. I'm going to have to do some heavy, intense lip gloss or chapstick tonight. Thankfully, last time I went to Sephora, I bought a lip stick or chapstick that I absolutely love. Alright, this guy is number eight. That was number three. Number eight is a like pinky peach. Like this shade is a wash your lips out shade. It looks really bad on me. It's like one of those 90 lipsticks that we all wore when we were like growing up 
this looks like I rated either my grandma's lipstick collection or a two-year-old's makeup collection. Like, it looks like a two-year-old's makeup. Then last but not least is my favorite shade in the whole collection, and it is their red, and it is number five. This is a beautiful blue-toned red. But these are super comfortable to wear. They say they are not, if you're not comfortable wearing them, wear a chapstick underneath them. And I've gone with chapstick, without chapstick. So it really just depends on your preference. But that's the red. It's literally like my favorite liquid lipstick in the whole collection. It's these are literally like my favorite liquid lipsticks like I actually flipped out because I didn't know where these were but yeah so that is my review on the Buo King whatever brand you want to say these are but that is my review so thank you guys so much for watching I'm gonna get off here because it's late and I want to finish watching my shows and text my boo so i will talk to you guys later and have a nice night bye